and congrats on creating your very first app on Fusion. Now let's talk about the interesting part, building your no-code app on Fusion. Any Fusion app has three main pillars, your app database, UI pages, and back-end workflows. Let's look at them one by one. Your app database is the foundation of your app, and it should be the first thing you set up by going to this section. If your app is created from a blank template, data structure will be blank to begin with, and you can start adding some data collections and columns to set it up. You also have an option to set up the database from a simple spreadsheet view. Go to this link and connect your Google account to get started. Once connected, click on this button to import app data to this sheet. It creates a blank Google Sheet where you can set up your data structure and sync it back with the app database. This will create the app database structure as per your spreadsheet data. Once the database is set up, head over to the Pages section. This is where you can create new pages. You can select whether or not you want to display them in the menu as well as restrict their access to only certain roles if you want to. Once pages are set up, you can open them and start building them using the no-code page builder. When adding UI to the page, you can connect UI elements like forms or tables to the back-end data structure that we had created to build a fully dynamic web app. You will see more on this when you head over to the page builder. Finally, once you have added app database and UI pages, you can add some back-end automation workflows for doing things like sending notifications, email alerts, etc. by going to the workflow section and creating a workflow. This workflow could be scheduled or triggered, and for scheduled workflows, you can select how frequently they should run. Each workflow can be then built with an exhaustive workflow builder, where you can drag and drop different workflow blocks to build a fully functional workflow. So to recap, your app will be built in three main steps. App database UI pages and back-end workflows. So without further ado, let's get started with the first step. Head over to the app database and start building the foundation of your app.